Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today I thought we'd have a close look at the, uh, well I don't know what to call it, the, the, the C4 CPC flash card, which is really meant for <coughs> well, the, the Amstrad CPC range, but the great thing is because the GX4000 has a, 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 well, a game cartridge slot, it can take this and you can fill it up with GX4000 uh, games. I mean this is a original TV and that's the controller, I'm just going off the original kit here. But yeah, this is what, obviously when you get it, it's going to be blank. So I've been online and uh, filled me coffers with all sorts of uh, recommended homebrew ROMs and ports and games and things. But as you can see there, if you had a, a, like a 128K or a Plus, you could just fire, fire this system. Let's go into there, Plus game, see. I mean, if I load any of these now, I think they'll just fall over. Switch, but it actually you put Plus games. This is... Uh, these look more like the bloody anyway it's a bit blurry on this, I don't know if you can see by the scat, it might not be coming out too well, but the scat I've used it's, it's very peculiar on the back of the GX4000, I've tried about five different scat leads and most of them just completely fall over, I used the gold plated one got nothing out of it but I got this really, I think I showed it on the unpacking video, you know it was uh, a really thick odd looking ribbon, I think uh, I don't know if I can stretch that up it's in front of the TV <laughs> my god that's really stretched but as you can just about make that out there without pulling out of the console <laughs> it's a really odd ribbon type one but yeah once that's in it just worked perfectly every single time so Anyway, uh, one to eight K demos. Uh, so yeah, so it can play them games. None of them what they'll load, but they just won't do anything because I've only got a pad. You've got to have keyboard support for stuff like that. But as you can see here, this folder GX four thousand parts. I think you can get these off. Uh, There's a Wikipedia page just full of GX four thousand games that have been, uh, sorry, Amstrad games that have been converted to use the the controls on the uh, on the controller. Let's just have a look at games. As you can see, so I mean, none of these are uh, GX4000 games, but like I say, they're all said to work. Batman, that'll be the movie game. Asterix, Magic, Cauldron, stuff like that. Bomb Jack, Bruce Lee, Dizzy. There's loads now. I think I've pretty much got the full collection. I mean, the one thing that really attracted me to it was the fact that I could play all of the Dizzy games in one go. I mean, I've got it on my C64, but... Uh, not to this degree. Oh, it's nice and easy, and it's on a controller as well. Enduro Racer. It's not as good as the Master System one, though. Let's just Final Matrix. Bloody hell! <laughs> that is. I've not really gone through this list properly, but it's absolutely rolls. Great Escape. That was a classic Spectrum game. I don't know what that one's like. Head Over Heels. Howard the Duck. So yeah, some really. Uh, let's have a quick look at that one just to see what it looks like. I see. You go press the button to select. Uh, uh, infinite lives. It's actually responding to the control. I don't know what yes or no is. So I'm just infinite shield. Let's hope I've selected no. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> it's a bit. Colors are a bit uh, bright and garish, but there you go. But you see what I mean? Uh, control sensitivity. Select the key. Someone's gone into this, pre-programmed it. So let's play the game. Just see how it looks like. You can hear that music well enough. It's not bad. There you go. That's me on the controller. Controls exactly as you expect it would. Jump works. It's just a, a volume to that. So you can hear. I'm not sure if if what the sounds like on the Amstrad in general. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. It's a teleport. <laughs> as you can tell, I played this a lot. I say uh, compared to the Spectrum version, this is uh, a lot better. Oh. A lot more colour in it, and it's I think, and uh, looks a bit garish to me. But what do I know? It is a classic game. That toaster. But yeah, just uh, going back to the menu. Uh, I can, I'm not ripping the card out. That's the other problem. Is on, on my system where the I've only got the bare card. I have actually got a, 
a burning rubber cart which I was planning on opening at some point. The, the problem is, I don't know if you can see that there, but it's all yellow and manky down this edge, so I'm not really bothering me retro about that. So I'm going to see if I can clean that up and then break it open and then snap a few holes in the top to put the uh, put the cartridge in. I mean, the, the way it is, the card will work just in the slot, but well, the problem is the doors on top of the system just catching it, and I don't really want to break the doors off because it's so small on top of the, the console to make it fit. But let's see what else is on there. Homebrew, no idea what these are. Hey, Blue Angels, that's a uh, 2010. Let's have a quick, okay, play. Oh, I've gone for hard. Oh, it's a puzzle game. <laughs> I've no idea what I'm doing, so this is a bit random. Anyway, but yeah, I mean, the other thing on top of the couch is it's got a, a mini USB slot in, so you can plug it straight into the, uh, I think it, no it hasn't. I'm telling a lie there, I'm looking at the top of it, I was seeing the, the mini SD card slot. You get them on eBay for like next to nothing. You get like a one gig card, even a 512 meg card, and you've got an entire library of uh, of GX 4000 games. I mean, the price of some of these games. Just uh, going back a minute. That's it. That's it. Like, there's no Chase HQ because I don't think that one's been burnt over yet. But something like Pang. I mean, you just don't see it. It just it never comes up. I mean, when I have seen it, it's like a, a couple of hundred quid and, and mega expensive. But anyway, but that's just to show you, I mean, that is a GX4000 game, just booting up straight away. Uh, Batman the movie, Burning Rubber. Wild Streets, that's supposed to be a classic. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very nifty card. Each of them games on there, you're looking at about 30 to 80 quid, depending on rarity. And there's about 40 of them, 45. It's a very tough system to collect for because it's impossible to get everything. Because, like the Chase HQ game, it was released but in a very, very small number. So, uh, if you want to get that, you're looking at about five or six hundred pounds if a copy ever appears. And there's only been two confirmed copies so far. So, really, if you ever want a full set, this sort of card is the only way to go. So. Yeah, so I think that's a, a good look at what it can do. As I said, it, it will work with other Amstrad uh, uh, C, uh, CPCs. Uh, I did look at getting a 1 to 8 because it did just interest me, but I don't know, they're, they're like 200 quid on, on, on eBay, and I was just like, well, for the sake of it, I can get all the games, the decent games, converted to uh, to use the controller on the 4000 and the great thing about that is you know it's like playing a normal game then yes i'm missing the keyboard games but i've got my c64 now so anything like that i can just fire up and play so i'm quite happy here yeah. anyway guys uh, as always thanks for watching and uh, please look forward to another video soon